Hey, hopefully I, you could see a video. This is a, uh, a 1948 uh, replica pre-war seat designed by Messenger. Pretty much all original. Um, has metal bottom plate, chrome springs, support. The original hardware, custom lean back seat posts, original hardware. Could, this could be repainted. Uh, this here is an aftermarket BMX aluminum with a custom cutout for less weight. Heavy duty Allen bolt. Heavy duty Allen bolt. Uh, Let's go with the sprocket. This is a BMX Colt sprocket. Clearance for the motor. Never scrapes. Pedal fine. Custom loop frame. You're gonna see right here. The headsets. Insealed headset, just like a BMX. Aluminum, insealed goes down under the bottom of the crank and it has custom motor mounts the frame is chromoly steel hand tigged and this right here is a chain tensioner I weld works works great never flew out also has aluminum bolts drop out clamps for it could, for it could be a lot more tighter for adjustment on the chain alignment as well as bigger bolts uh, the, these rims are worksman's rims these are uh, chrome like sanded chrome finish the actual uh, the frame is painted right now it's kind of dirty there is a little bit paint damage here from having different setup of carbs had some that with a straight shroud and then had some with a different intake with the straight shroud so sometimes or rub if you ever replace that uh, smaller pedals newer aftermarket pedals they work just great whatever hard plastic motor intake the head is aluminum head started cleaning this side the other side's kind of dirty uh, I say it goes up these are the forks these are heavy duty forks as well as a custom uh, bracket on top of here to compress the fork down once it's compressed and it holds it for it won't for it won't vibrate as well as the head clamp does the same well and as well as this bolt holds it all down so you have this this that and that all holding up the headset so it won't come loose the stem it's a heavy duty giant style mountain bike stem on a beach cruiser wizard forks these are actually off a of wizard and these are heavy duty shocks as you can see they're a, lot, a little bit more fatter than normal actually I paid 150 for weaker forks that had crumb forks but those were a lot weaker these are normally about 250 but I paid 200 and these are the heavy duty style forks. It has the gloss finish right here up to the matte finish. You can see better, just it's just dusty. Uh, like I said, the chrome style rims or whatever. The brakes could be real easy set up for a front brake. Just do some adjustment here. And then just line up your brake cable. This is the clutch <coughs> cable. 
I have no problem, no issues. Once you just press it out, it releases, it grabs, it releases, it grabs, it releases. I have no problem. Look, once it's on there, this is release. And look, the second I drop this, it's not gonna go nowhere. But once I release, or once I push it in, once I drop, it hit locks. The gas tank's hand polished, stainless steel, copper knob, a copper knob with rubber fitting. You could hand polish this too, it gets deoxidation just like the original ones uh, the gas tank you could paint to with to make an authentic color matching bike and add decal or have it all polished like this and add the decal of the Harley Davidson tribute sticker uh, pretty much the bike looks exactly like a 1914 Harley Davidson bicycle and that was the look I was going for as well as the seat pen has the the small the small design to give it the 1914 look this is actually a sh Schwinn seat these grips are aftermarket seats grips a lot bigger with the chrome fet lot, looks a lot nice when, when the whole bike's washed you could even wax it I haven't I haven't walked that far but once you wash it and you wax it, it's, it, it's, a, it's a lot nice bike. A lot of people like it. They're surprised how fast it goes. They see it, they're like, this bike can't go 20. And once they see you passing them, they're, they're surprised. And then they say, oh no, this guy's going fast. <laughs> anyway, look. That's the tank. Look up to those mounts. There, there. Copper fitting for gas line hose collects direct this is the bent clutch cable works great uh, the chain is off a 1974 pooch moped believe it or not this is the heavy duty chain it may not look pretty but I'm these people that say this because it looks pretty and shiny doesn't mean it's better because it could be a lot weaker it could be a China chain this chain was made in Australia and it's not going to give you no problems. It's lightweight as well as easy to adjust and it's well, it's well geometric. Like it, this thing's, These are indestructible chains. It's a 40 tooth sprocket. I downsized to a 30... I'm going to say the 38. It says right here. 38 sprocket. Uh, all right. Well, that's my bike. Pretty much, the motors are all the same. Uh, yeah, and uh, this stock power source. You could get an aftermarket one, put dual head, everything, and uh, the bike's pretty nice. It would be pretty cool to get it dual sprock, put make it look like a dual cylinder head, but it's not. But anyway, that's how my motor is. <coughs> <coughs> Uh, my bike so this is the video it was pretty long hopefully you got the good view it's a big bike it's it's stretched out see how the gas tank is from this part the bike would have probably end right here well you get this extra quarter bike the frame seeps low it's all pretty in line